John Fitzgerald Kennedy was born on May 29, 1917 in Brookline, Massachusetts. John was very ill when he was a child and was given the last rites five times. When John was young, the family moved from Boston to New York. John went to a private school and most of the time though he was too sick to attend. In the late 1930s, Father Joe became the ambassador to England. He took his family with him. John F. Kennedy went to Princeton and then he went to Harvard. In the early 1950s, John ran for Congress in Massachusetts and won. He married Jacqueline Kennedy on September 12, 1953. His father always said that John would be the President of the United States one day. I believe that this nation should commit itself to achieving the goal before this decade is out of landing a man on the moon and returning him safely to the earth. He ran for President in 1960 against Richard Nixon, and he narrowly won. His administration had many conflicts, the Bay of Pigs and the Cuban Missile Crisis as examples. On November 22, 1963, John was to give a speech in Dallas, but on his way, an assassin hidden on the sixth floor of the Texas School Book Depository opened fire at Kennedy, who was riding in an open car. John F. Kennedy died in a Dallas local hospital at 1 p.m. The alleged assassin, Lee Harvey Oswald, was captured a short time later after shooting and killing a Dallas policeman and was himself assassinated before he could be interrogated. He was laid to rest on his son's third birthday. John Fitzgerald Kennedy was one of the best presidents of the United States of America. And so, my fellow Americans, ask not what your country can do for you, ask what you can do for your country. <laughs> my fellow citizens of the world, ask not what America will do for you, but what together we can do for the freedom of man.